Several area high school teams are off to impressive starts this season, and we focus on one of them with this week's High School Standout, brought to you by Spectrum. This week's High School Standouts, the basketball roster at Greer High. It's a team that's off to one of the best starts on the boys' side in program history, and you might say they've embraced the spirit of their hometown. Mariah Ross has the story. Just two years removed from a team that only saw seven wins, the Greer boys basketball program is off to their best start in at least 10 seasons. And if you're looking for a reason behind the turnaround, look no further than the town itself. Greer Grit, it's a blue collar town. When we tell our kids, there's somebody that paid their hard earned money to watch you play. And so we're not gonna walk around on the floor, we're gonna get after it. We take every game personal and we try to embrace our community with that same type of passion. The passion was evident when the Yellow Jackets rebounded from the 21 season with a newfound mentality. There was a day and time where we would walk on the floor and we would hope that we would win. Sometimes we would play to lose and just not make winning plays. Now we've got a veteran group and when we step on the floor, we expect to have success. Knowing that finally we put it together and we start winning, it's just a lot more fun for everybody coming to watch. And when times get tough in a game and, and we're, not, we're not clicking, we find a way. As they continue to climb the ranks as one of the more intimidating teams to face in the region, they remember where they came from. The student section, the family of Greer, they just love us and we let them back and everything we do is for them. They have a chip on their shoulders more times than not and I enjoy that. I try to encourage that. I feel like it's a life skill, like just, hey, it's okay to want to prove who you are. And who they're playing for. This is the closest team I've ever been on. We're all good friends and this is probably the funniest group of dudes I've ever been around. Nobody's in the locker room mad after the game. Like We're all happy for each other and want to see each other succeed. They're just really connected to each other and it just means a little more when you're playing for the guy next to you. It's the fabric of who we are. The Yellow Jackets make it as far as the second round of playoffs last year, ultimately falling short to Greenville. They'll be looking to avenge that loss in just a couple of weeks. In Greer, Mariah Ross, 7 News Sports.